This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi guys, it's me again Julius. We're going to maiden this forward. This is P47 Thunderbolt Razorback version, 1200mm wingspan and about 1.1kg flying weight. The CG is 7cm from the leading edge. This will be the first time I'm flying an RC model on the last two months. You can find all the specs and the link for the model plans and also the decal on the descriptions. This model is powered with 35 motor 650 kV and 11 inch 3 blades propeller, 50 m ESC and 3S 2200 mAh LiPo battery. Here we go the first flight. The control is too sensitive. I used the wrong CG here. At first, I used 7.7 cm for the CG. But the correct CG is 7 cm. It's the final CG. Kuatnya bagus nggak? Siap. Oh dia ngapas terus. Woi, woi. Woi ngapa? Kanan kiri kanan kiri gitu. Iya apa karena terus. Terus naik lagi ya. Terus naik lagi ya. Emang ada flapnya? Ada. Nanti aja dulu landingnya dulu. But I can still control it and manage to bring it down safely, almost. Second flight with the correct CG. Cakap Tom. Lebih enak ini. Iya jauh. Iya. Ringan kita mat. The plane is more stable now. Berapa fokus sudah? Berasa ya, kalau gede gini ya. Kamu contohnya gede kali. Cakap Tom. Cuba buat salah ni. Tidak ngebut seperti dua. Kalau kalau belok kirinya banyak banget berarti emang oh, kurang rendah ya belok cepet banget ya kau lemah Tu dia selalu up gitu sih kalau mau, nggak mau lurus. Dapat tu. Tu tu kalau. This time I try to use flap for landing, and it helped a lot. But the landing gear strut twisted when it touched the ground and caused this. Actually, I already planned to fly this model again on the next day, but the weather was not too friendly. It's heavy rain all day long. So that's it, guys, for the flying video. I think this plane needs 4S battery for the max performance, but it's quite stable with the current specs. 
I also draw the plans for fixed landing gear, and I suggest to use serverless retractable landing gear that already has strut on it. I guess this plane is alright. The smoothest landing I ever done with this model is without the wheel. Like this. As you may already know, I model and design the plans with Blender 3D and Pepper Color Designer. It's like designing a paper craft. I will make a tutorial about how I design the model with Blender and Pepper Color Designer when my channel reach 50,000 subscribers. After this, I will show you how I design this model. Check this out. But in the meantime, you can try Skillshare to learn Blender 3D. Skillshare is an online learning community with a lot of topics and interesting classes. You can learn new skill here. Like this class Blender 2.8 Game Vehicle Creation by Darren Lyle. This class has 124 lessons for you to learn and try. That we can use if you like. There are higher resolution images that you can pay for, of course. All right, let's work on the fender now. If I tumble around here, I think what we can do is tab into edit mode. The lessons have step-by-step -step instructions that are easy to follow. Skillshare is designed for learning and there is no ads. Skillshare now offer one month free trial. The first 1,000 people that click the link on the description will get one month free trial. To get it, just click the link on this the video descriptions and you can start your creativity today. For this build, I use 5mm Depron or polyfoam board. I make scoring lines on the back side for easier bending. And make the foam warm by using a heat gun before curving it on a metal pipe like this. Now I use new markings for easier assembly. These rectangle marks should be glued close to each other. For easier and maximum strength, apply glue moderately, not too much, and then hold them still and wait for at least 1 minute before releasing them. You can see here all the rectangle marks are close from each other. Make holes on formers to save weight.
If the part is angled, you need to sand the base to make it fit to the other part. Cut this part for the cockpit. You might have to cover it with packing tape first before folding it like this. While gluing this part, you need to adjust it so it will have the correct alignment with the fuselage. You may have to adjust or trim each part to fit perfectly. You can see here the nose end is a bit angled to the right. It's not straight. It is designed purposely to give the motor a bit right and down thrust angle. Install the motor inside the rectangle mark like this. But I will use my older motor which didn't have the proper mounting like this. This is 3536 650kV motor. So I can use 11 inch 3 blades prop. Double the plywood firewall with foam for stronger bond on the fuselage.
carve the cow like this. Wet sand the fuse last with 240 medium sand paper for smoother result. Place the airfoil former like this. 0.5 cm from the front edge. Draw lines from the plants onto the inside side of the wing before gluing the formers. Mark the gap between two spars to make a slit for the wing joiner. Cut the formers before gluing like this. Here I cut the landing gear well. You don't need to do this if you plan to use fixed landing gear or not using landing gear at all. This landing gear base is made out of lightweight 9mm plywood. Add pieces of foam to reinforce the plywood base. Here I'm making a homemade wheel from 10mm EVA foam. You can use 85mm ready-made wheel. Cut the EVA foam like you cut meat. And for the rim, I use lightweight 9mm plywood. Lay the wheel like this. Sand the leading and trailing edges like this to shape slope profile for receiving the top skin of the wing. Before closing the wing, make sure you make holes for cables on the formers. Make them in straight line. I use foam safe glue to glue the formers and top skin of the wing. But for the leading edge, I use hot glue. and then sand smooth and thin all sharp edges on the wing. Cut the ailerons and the flaps according to the plans.
cut trim each control surface on one edge about 2 mm for making room for free movement. We have to close the gap from cutting the aileron and flaps, otherwise the wing will become weak. Here I use 3 mm foam sheet. Make a slow profile on the leading edge of the aileron. Install the flap servo. Each servo is arranged with the same direction. But for the aileron, the servo are arranged in opposite direction. I use servoless retractable landing gear like this. It came without the strut. I suggest you find the one that has strut on it. It's stronger. Move all cables to the top of the wing before combining both wings. The wing joiner is made out of 3mm plywood. I cover it with paper tape to make it more durable. Fill the gap, if any, with hot glue. We need to cut the fuselage for wing placement. Make sure you align the drawing correctly on the center of the belly. For wing mounting, I use two pieces of 9mm lightweight plywood. Place the wing on the center of the fuselage and mark the screw position. I use gypsum or wood screw like this. Sand the upper edges on the belly cut to fit with the wing. Before gluing it to the wing, make holes on the belly for the screwdriver.
and add mica plastics for protecting the foam. Make slits for installing the stabilizer according to the plans. Find the correct or true center by aiming with your eye. And then cut the slit for the vertical step. Adjust the slit for horizontal stabilizer so it will align perfectly with the main wing. Don't glue the steps yet, we need to cover them first. Before covering the foam, complete the fuselage first. This razor back part is made out of 3mm foam sheet. Cover with packing tape first and make score lines on the inside side before folding this part like this. This time I will try again using laminating film for covering the foam. This is 32 micron or 1.2 mm glossy laminating film. I need to paint the inside side first before using it for cover. I prepare it like this. You can paint it with any spray color. I use silver for aluminum color and then let it dry completely. I already used this technique on my DC3 wing. I got this trick from my Argentinian friend, Ergo, you can find his channel here, Aero Ergo. I begin covering the bottom side of the wing, the glue is activated by low heat like this. You can find the link where to buy the laminating film or the tool I use on the descriptions below. Just overlap the other film like this. I use medium heat on the covering iron setting.
After the bottom side is covered, I wrap it with film on the top side like this. And for the curvy surface like the front cowl, I use small cuts of film like this. Here I use black painted paper tape to cover the film. and smooth the leading edge of the horizontal step. And for the elevator, send the trailing edge. And make slow profile on the leading edge like this. Send the leading edge of this vertical step. And for the rudder, send all edges. The swing fairing is made out of 0.3 mm mica plastic, and this is how I glue it to the fuse last. And also for other color variations, I use laminating film too. Remember to paint the inside side, not the outside, but the inside. Also, there's a link where to buy on the description. I just use cello tape for the control surfaces hinges, except for the rudder I use mica plastic covered with paper masking tape for the hinges. For the elevators, you need this long Y-shaped push rod. You can use 1.5mm stainless steel wire for this.
I use ordinary 9 gram plastic servo for all control surfaces. Now is the time I add control horn and linkages. Here I use 2 mm balsa sheet to close the cockpit hole. And then paint it with black. I also include the pilot in paper craft model. It's the same pilot model as the Stearman pilot, but I reduced the size to match the scale. Here how my daughter assembly the paper craft model. You need to trim the torso of the model as it is too high. Here is how I cut the mica plastic for the canopy. I use 0.5 mm mica plastic. This is the assembled canopy. I just use cello tape to combine them together. I use painted final stickers for the window frames. The file for the decal is also shared along with this model plans. I use printed final stickers for the decal. You can see on the plans for the drawing of the rail wheel. At first, I make it can swivel, but on final, I make it fix.
The CG is 7 cm from the leading edge. Measure it from the wing root. I ended up using a magnet to lock the battery hatch. You must tear down the front former so the battery can move to the front for balancing on the CG. I use paper roll for the machine guns. On the next episode, I will continue Boeing 747. Alright okay, guys, that's it. This model is already finished. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, consider to subscribe and hit the like button. If you want to support me even more, you can join the membership. See you in the next episode. penyakit oh gue iya yo 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 yo